You are listening to the Daily Homily for Magdala in the Holy Land. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will, not, will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink and any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up to, into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know if you have realized, but we celebrate many farewells. We celebrate the Assumption of, the, of Our Lady. We celebrate the Ascension of the Lord. We celebrate the, the Feast of the Saints, normally in the day of their death. And it's a kind of contradiction, because normally when somebody that we love leaves us, we are sad. It should be a sad feast as, I don't know, as Good Friday, you know, when Jesus died, and we should use um, purple garments. But no, we celebrate it. And the, the opening prayer invite us to rejoice, to be full of joy, because Jesus left us. I don't know if you have seen a movie called Don't Look Up. It's a movie from Netflix. It comes out two, two years ago, I think. I don't recommend, but somebody <laughs> like it, somebody know. It's a, a generous satire. So, people, but it's about a comet who will destroy the Earth, no? Oh and are these scientific that discover this comet that is coming, this meteorite or huge that is going to destroy the Earth, and they just start saying to the people that's going to happen, and nobody believes them. Hmm? So it's like two forces: the the ones who say, "Don't look up, because don't worry, it's nothing going to happen," and this one, "Just look up, because what is going." You have to see what is going to happen. And I think it's like this we see in the first reading. The apostles are looking up, and there comes these angels and say, don't look up. <laughs> we have to put the, our foot feet on the earth. And I think this is our most beautiful exercise that the Christians have. We look up to heaven in order to see with more clarity what is happening here on earth. If, you, if we don't see Christ in heaven seated at the right hand of the Father, we, may, we, we will miss all the point here on earth. We will have a, just a human view of what is happening. When we have this capacity to look the heavenly realities, and I think that is a Christian, the one who can look the heaven realities and can in, m, interpret the facts of this earth in the light of these heaven realities. And that's why we can celebrate with joy this feast. Because Jesus just not, because Jesus is, got, is at, at the right hand of the Father, we can have a relation with him. If Jesus stayed there, here, as an example, we are here in the Holy Land, how 
many Christians in normal time can come to visit Holy Land. I think 1% is too much. Hmm? People that are going to come here to visit Holy Land think that Jesus stay here for the whole eternity in this earth. How many Christians will have the privilege even to see him like from like when we go to Rome and see the Pope like over there, this white point over there in the, in the, in the window is the Pope. Hmm? And yeah, it's going to be a privilege for somebody and many of here will pass this life without knowing him. Since Christ is at the right hand of the Father, we can have a personal relation with him every day. And in that intimacy with Christ, that is what means to look up to the heavenly, to the heavenly realities. We can make an interpretation of the reality that we live every day. Without this relation with Christ, the reality, the each reality, is submitted to fortune, good luck, bad luck, and yeah, I can, I could realize so many things in my in my life, but at the end, what is going to happen? Since we have this intimacy with Christ, we can give a meaning a heavenly meaning, even to the worst things that can happen here. Because he is here for us. He is there for us. He is accompanied. Pope Benedict uh, gave us this, when he make a meditation, a beautiful meditation, relating this past of the, of the ascension with the past of the, the other chapel that we have here, the, Jesus that goes to the mountain to pray and see the disciples fighting against the wind, fighting in the, in, in, in the sea, and he comes walking over the waters to reach them. So it's not that Jesus say, I'm stuck with you, you don't understand anything, so I leave you, try to arrive, I wait for you, I hope you will make it, but who knows? He is up to reach us. He reaches us in our difficulties. Difficulties. He reaches us in our moments of joy. He reaches us in our everyday life. So we can, with him, arrive there at the right hand of the Father. We are the body of Christ. So we will have a, a, a place there at the right hand of the Father as the body of his son. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to learn more about Magdala, follow us on YouTube and on Facebook.